Hi guys, welcome to another episode on Power BI. This video is about report load or report refresh time optimization. With the help of some example, let's learn how we can use incremental load to do a faster refresh of the tables. Before that, let me read some points which I picked up from the Microsoft website. The PBI service dynamically partitions and separates data that needs to be refreshed frequently from the data that can be refreshed less frequently. Table data is filtered by using Power Query, Daytime Parameter with the reserved case sensitive names, Range Start and Range End. So please remember this Range Start and Range End is a must. This name is a reserved character in PBI. So with the help of incremental refresh, we have some advantages like fewer refresh cycle, refreshes are faster, resource consumption is reduced, enable large data sets, easy setup, etc. Without wasting our time, let's go to PBI and with the help of an example, let's see how we can enable incremental load in Power BI. So here is the PBX file and I've already loaded some sample data from a SQL server. So as you can see, the table name is fact order and we have a couple of columns here, ID, order date, product, description, comments, and quantity. This is just a sample data for this, for this demo. So, and if I filter out here, you should be able to see data ranging starting from Jan 2019 until we have it until, I think it's uh, Jan 31st, okay? So you can see we have the data till Jan 31st, 2022. So it's almost like 1920, 21, almost three plus years of data. So I will show you how we can set up an incremental refresh in Power BI. So as a first step, what I'm gonna do is, so we need to have a date column here. So in this case, we have a order date. So basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to archive this three years data, not entirely, maybe like 2.2 years of data. And then we will enable the refresh in Power BI service so that all the historical will not get refreshed, but only whatever we uh, state in this uh, parameter gets refreshed. So as a first step, what I'm gonna do is click, go to the transform data and I have to create two parameter to filter out the date range. So let me create a new parameter. So we have the reserved for this particular exercise. So that is range start. And if you try to use some other names here, it will not work. So make sure you you use the same name, range start. And then since it's a date time, I'm gonna use date time. And we have a list of queries. So what I'll do is I will use, so the starting will be Jan 1st, 2019. Okay, click on okay. Okay, so I'll be adding one more parameter, new parameter. And again, this is a reserve word, range, end, type, date time, value. For now, let me limit it for just one year. One, one. Okay, December 1st. To zero, 19. Click on OK. So as you can see here, we have Jan 2019 till December 2019. So we have set the parameters. So click on close and apply. Give it a couple of seconds. As a next step, what I'll do is, 
I will apply the filtering. the field date so what i'll do is click on this order date i will use date time filters between so this is where we are limiting our data these are after equal to the parameter value so range start is before or equal parameter range end okay so we have set the parameter to filter the data click on okay and then now if you see it's it's already applied the filters so let me close and apply give it a couple of seconds Okay, so it, now if you see here, if I apply a filter, so I have the data starting from 2019 until December 2019. Okay, now let me go back to the report. Let me create something, a basic report. Let me add a metrics here and then bring the dates to the rows maybe i just need the year and month then let me bring the quantity to the values so if i expand here since i've applied the filter for just one year you should be able to see only 2019 data here right now as a next step i need to set up the parameter for incremental refresh i'll right click on this particular fact order table and then i will input all the necessary values let me click on this fact order table click on incremental refresh and then select table so we have only one table here right click click on this incremental refresh this table archive data starting select value before refresh date so i'll give it in years so let's keep four years incremental refresh data starting from let's say months assume that my data changes for the last two or three months so i'll just hit maybe two months let's let's assume it's two months so if you notice here the data gets imported from 228 2018 till 21 that is almost four years and then the last two months data gets refreshed incrementally so if you see here 12 28 20 21 till 228 22 there is five two months of data and there are additional options like get the latest time, refresh complete, etc. So I'm not going to click on anything. I just hit apply. Apply. Okay. Okay. So since I applied by default, like for one year, so it's only picking up 2019. So we are not done yet. So next step is we need to publish this to the service. So I'll go ahead and publish to my workspace. Click on publish. So it's been successfully published to the service. So now let's open the PBA in the web, in the service. So if you notice here, so the file is in the service and you can see 2019 data only, but this is not what we need, right? We need to have the uh, latest month data updated. So what I'm gonna do is open the data sets and click on refresh. So here's my workspace. So what I'm gonna do is click on this icon, refresh now. 
it will take like a couple of seconds because my data set is not huge so maybe like few seconds and then after this refresh if i go back to the pbx file i should be able to see the latest data let's give it a couple of seconds and one more thing you should remember is like you should have enabled the gateway setup in your pbx file or data set if you haven't enabled it it will throw you an error so make sure you have active gateway running and then you have mapped all your data source into your cluster so now the data refresh is complete and as you can see here we are able to see the full data so we still able to see the january data assume that i add some records let's say february and then do the refresh once again right so what happens is like uh, the, all the historical data 2019 20 21 will not get refreshed since we have set up a way to refresh the data only for the last two months the jan and the feb gets refreshed so there won't be any changes for the december so the your refresh cycle will be faster so what i'll do is i'll go back to my sql server and let me enter the february data i'll do an insert command to uh, enter the feb data and then again let's go to the data sets and refresh it and then let's see whether we are able to see the feb or not let's do that i just inserted a couple of records into the sql database and now let's go to the workspace and go to the data sets and try to refresh it so here is the data set let me click on refresh this time the refresh should be faster because it's not going to load all the historical but it's going to just refresh the the last two months and it's already done so now let's go back to the pbx browser here is the browser and it's still showing january let me click on reset to default so that it gets refreshed the page gets loaded let me expand this i know probably i need to hit enter on the url let's see now if we notice here so we have the february data as well jan and feb so this time the refresh time was very fast and it just took like 2 or 3 seconds and like the first time when we loaded the all the historical it took almost like 20 30 seconds uh, and this is how you can optimize your report load using the incremental refresh i hope this video was helpful and if you have any doubts please leave me a comment but please do note that to do a incremental refresh you need to have a gateway set up and running up running in your server or your if it's your a personal gateway make sure your personal pc is up running and thanks for watching